Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a masculine birthday card, fall themed of course. I'm going to be using what I call an aperture die. This does not cut out a die cut, rather it cuts into the paper and it makes a really pretty design. And so let's get started with that. I'm going to be using Seaside Spray for my ink color because it contrasts with this Cinnamon Crisp. I just got this from Stampin' Up. I'm going to be embossing with this beautiful wood grain folder. I'm going to do the cutting first and then I'm going to emboss. So I'll be right back. So here we are. I'm going to have to pop out all the pieces. Not a big deal. I do have a video on using a dryer sheet. I can learn, I can link that up in the end sheet end box and screen. All right, there is I think we've got everything. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment on the front. It's your special day. I think this was a nondescript stamp set. Or when I first started crafting, I bought several birthday card sentiment sets because that's what I started doing. Go ahead and stamp this up in the corner. Make sure it's good and inked. Perfect. Doesn't that stand out really well, I think? Again, this is Seaside Spray from Stampin' Up! Right, and then to make the sky, I'm gonna be putting in a piece of this light blue. I just happen to have some scraps. And this is, well, five and an eighth by two and a quarter, just to make sure I would cover it up. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, before I forget, Let's go ahead and emboss this. I don't want to emboss with this in there. Okay. Don't get too far ahead of myself. And it's okay if um, we emboss the sentiment. I think that'll be, that'll add some interest to it. Just as an aside, a pro tip. When you're using your thin dies on your, with my, the Vagabond, you want to use this on your plates along with the platform. But when you're embossing, you want to take this out. Okay, I think that's kind of cute. <laughs> A happy accident there. All right, let's go ahead and glue this on. I'm using my Tombow Mono Liquid... And I'm going to be, and I'll put this lower so you can see it, all around to make sure I get a good contact. And even with on the deer itself. I think this die is so pretty. I call it aperture, it may be something else, but aperture basically means opening. Okay, so let's put this on. Make sure, okay, good. Good contact there, but I just don't want it to go over the ends. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and 
put it on the front. I'm going to be using my score tape for that. One more. Okay. All right, let's stamp the inside of the card before I forget. I'll be using another Stamp. I might have got this from Stampin' Up, but I honestly don't remember. I started crafting five years ago, so a lot has happened since then. Wishing you a year full of hearty laughs, smiling faces, and warm hugs. Okay, let's put our piece on. Burnish it down really well so we can get the uh, release tape off without pulling it all up. Now this stuff is really sticky. Doesn't give us any wiggle room like the glue. This is just a card base that I made. Took it 100 pound, eight and a half by 11. Cut it in half, five, five and a half. And just folded it for an A2. So, that was not smart. Okay. Just got it stuck to the wrong thing. Okay. There's our basic card. And now I'm going to decorate with a few of my punched leaves that I used on my wreath card a couple of months ago. But I, I punched out a bunch. Now you could also do the embossing folder the, uh, no, it would, wouldn't quite fit the other way, would it? So I guess sideways it is. Luckily it dries. I did get a little bit on the edges there. And let's do a yellow one inside. There is our masculine aperture die birthday card. Paul and the beautiful deer. 
Thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.